We're going to start. You play both inside and outside during your career at IU. Where do you see, see yourself playing in the NFL? Um, I see myself playing inside, outside, some special teams my first year or second year. Really, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm going to do it. What feedback have you gotten from teams yet? Um, I've been talking to a few teams. They've been talking to me. They're talking about they like um, They've been saying they like my play style, the way I play. Um, they like my toughness, my grit. Kind of the things that we preach at Indiana is toughness and grit. So they, they say they like those things about me. They like that I'm not easy to bring down. Basically, grit and I, I got a lot of toughness. Where have you been training? Uh, I started off in Arizona, but now I'm in Atlanta. What are the areas you've spent the most time working on? Uh, the, the areas that I spent the most time working on, I've been working on my 40 a lot. Um, my 40 and my, my, my bench press, make sure I'm strong. I've just been really working on my explosiveness, trying to get more explosive sort of show on my pro day. What are you most looking forward to on pro day? Uh, I'm most looking forward to my 40 yard dash. Because pe most, most people expect me to run a four or five. So um, gonna change, I'm going to change that, going to change a lot of minds when I run my 40 open up a little bit of people's eyes and things like that. And my route running. I've been, I've been working on my route running for about a month, a few weeks. So it should, my route running should be better. I know it can get better. So this not, that's not going to be my, um, my limit when, where I'm at in my pro day. Talk about your relationship with Coach Hurd and how he helped you get ready for the NFL. Uh, Coach Hurd, that's Coach Hurd. Coach Hurd, like a, like a father to me. Like he like a father figure. So, he he coached me hard. He he was he was getting me ready for those NFL coaches because I know the NFL coaches gonna coach hard and he knows as well because he got guys in the NFL. He played in the NFL too. So he was just, he got me ready. He made sure my mind was my mind was on strike, my head was on good, just things like that. And he made me he made me a better player, he made me a better person. He um he just taught me that if he coaching me up, he's not really mad at me. He just coaching me up. So don't take everything as criticism. Um, but Coach Hurt, I love that dude to death. So he taught he he made me a better person. Talk about what getting an invite to the combine meant to you. Man, that was a dream come true, man. Like everybody, everybody praying, hope they get a um combine invite. So it was a dream come true. I mean, I actually, even though we didn't have a combine, I kind of teared up a little bit because I was just so happy that I got it. And nobody knows that they're gonna get it or not. And I was so happy that I got it. All my work paid, I was sure that I it showed that people um been watching me, Stevie Jamar, Stevie Jamar, and showed that they've been watching us. So I'm happy that I'm happy that we all got one. We all get to represent Indiana. So I'm I'm just so happy. It's, it's a dream come true. What are you most proud of looking back at your career? Um I'm most proud that we're we're a football school now, man. We're not just a basketball school. I'm so I'm happy that. We we got we got to change the culture. That's what we all went there to do was to change the culture at Indiana. And that's what we did. We left, we left the um we me, Stevie Jamar, Jerome, Harry, Javon. Um, um we all leaving there with a we all leaving the school in with a in a winning situation. And we're not the bottom feeders of the Big Ten no more. We, you know, we some top dogs. So that's what I'm most proud about. We we went we're a football school now. Talk about how your experience at IU shaped you as a person and a player. Um, my experience at IU shaped me as a person. Um, cause I, used, I, I'm, I'm used to being around my family. I'm used to be around my mom all the time. But when I got to college, I had to be on my own. I had to, like, be a man. I had to be a man by certain things. So I had to grow up a little bit, mature more. And I just, I just, it just, it just made me, it just made me grow up faster. It didn't really make me grow up faster. It made me grow up more as a as a man, because I'm alone and I'm doing, I'm learning things on my own. I'm learning, as, I'm learning everything on the fly. Nobody else in my family made it, made it this far. So I'm really, just, yeah, like I said, I'm learning everything on the fly. So in the end, it, it shaped my, it, it shaped me, it, it made me a better, it made me a more mature person. <laughs> Last one, you've had a special relationship with Coach Allen, one of his first recruits. Talk about that relationship and what he means to you and LEO means to you. Man, Coach Allen, man, words can't even describe how 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 
what how um Coach Allen, what Coach Allen means to me. Coach Allen is he believed in me, he took a chance on me, and nobody has ever took a chance on me. He wanted me to come there, nobody has ever wanted me. So I felt like he 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 just made me feel feel wanted when I was there. So man, I I I really I really thank Coach Allen for everything. I thank him for giving me the shot, giving me the shot to show my talent, for me to be in the situation of be preparing for the NFL combine, NFL draft. Like my hats go. I, I thank Coach Allen for everything. Like that's my guy, and I love Coach Allen. Like he he another father figure that I look up to. I look up to. I, I love his mindset, his gritty personality. I love everything about him. That's probably the reason why I'm so gritty because I had you know I had to learn it from somebody. So man, Coach Allen, man, I just I just pray and I hope the um I know it's gonna I know the um the coach is gonna keep going on under him. I know he's gonna keep the he he the, the culture in good hands, the team in good hands. So I thank Coach Allen. If he on if he if he don't see this, um tell him I said thank you, man. <laughs> and Elio will definitely still man, Elio, Elio means a lot to me. Like Eli, I feel like Elio is just a is a is just a way to live your life, man. It's love everybody. Don't don't hate, don't do nothing, don't hate on nobody, just love everybody because that's what God taught us all to do. He brought us all the world to the world to love, just love, just show love, just appreciate everything. And I feel like just the Elio mindset, Elio lifestyle, way of life is a good way to live your life. I've been telling some NFL scouts about the Elio, like it's it's a great way to live your life. You should just love everybody instead of hate, do all this bad stuff. It's too much bad in the world, so you might as well just love. Perfect wop. You're the man.